work has been uh, known and Christianed the, world, the world's oldest profession dating back to ancient times. Now, I'm not sure why this is, but it's probably because people have always had sex. Defined as indiscriminate sexual activity between people who are not spouses, who are not partners, who are not even friends, there's usually a transaction associated with sex work, usually payments in cash or in kind. Now, in the motherland, sex is usually termed, sex work is usually termed a female domain, and there's an expectation and a general view that there are no male sex workers in Zimbabwe. Is this true? Could it be that there are no male sex workers or that there are no females who desire to buy sex? We'll find out as we discuss today's topic, male sex work, a myth or a reality. Before we get into the conversation itself, we will hear on the legalities of sex work. Dinonzi Rejoice, Naraunda Makawa together with Veronica Mwanza on uh, sign language. My name is Rumba Daivenge and I am a legal practitioner practicing in Zimbabwe and I'm currently in private practice in Harare. The question of, of sex workers, as it were, of sex work uh, as, as, a, as an abstract in Zimbabwe is one that has been dealt with considerably. And what seems to come out is always the fact that uh, whether it's a battle between the conservative um, conservatism, the conservative nature of the people of Zimbabwe, how they shun all of that, or how it's the oldest profession as referred to in the Bible and has always uh, brought a little bit of controversy whenever it's brought up. Um, traditionally, the situation that we saw regarding female sex workers was that they were terrorized by the police. It was uh, an arrest warrant simply being seen loitering around certain areas within the city, uh, not having a reasonable explanation for being in a certain place in the avenues after a certain time. And it then also found a lot of innocent uh, women being accused of soliciting for the purposes of prostitution. What then happened was that um, through lobbyist groups and uh, the Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights, they approached the court uh, and they said this uh, this issue that sees the police coming out and harassing uh, women under the guise of them being female sex workers is actually a contravention of their right uh, to liberty, their freedom of movement in terms of the constitution. And it also is discriminatory. So what you then see is that um, the, the what becomes the issue now in proving a case for solicitation is that you need uh, you need to have the person who was soliciting the services, the John, the man requiring the services, and uh, the person who is accused of selling those services. And it was very, 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 um, it was a very commonplace that the Johns or the men would not want to take the case further. So how can solicitation be the charge? And you then find that issues to do with homosexuality and particularly male uh, sex workers who are either servicing other men or they are servicing women uh, is really swept under the rug and it's not spoken of. But they, uh, the male sex workers, have also now found uh, some recourse under the court judgment that allows freedom of movement and that there should be proof put forward before you start accusing someone of uh, soliciting uh, or, or for soliciting for, for the purposes of uh, prostitution or loitering for the purposes of uh, of, of prostitution so it would you know and a lot of people say that it's not the prostitution that becomes the illegality it's the solicitation of it that becomes an issue but that comes the burden of proof that has to be discharged and these are issues that are not really spoken about particularly when it comes to the male sex workers but they can also claim um, they can also claim um, recourse in terms of this existing court order and then looking at the question of homosexuality, our constitution is silent uh, in terms of provision of rights for transgender, for homosexual, etc. What it is clear on is that uh, Zimbabwe is not a country that will support any homosexual relations or any homosexuality, and that in itself is illegal. But it raises the question, 
if a servant being uh, has fundamental rights, one of them being to pick orientation, shouldn't Zimbabwe be edging forward and uh, looking at all of these things holistically uh, and against um, the Charter for Human Rights? That was the voice of Rumbi Zaivenge, just opening our minds up to the conversation around sex work um, and its existence in Zimbabwe, and also just reinforcing there that it's ordinarily a female domain. Now here on Issues Paninyaya today, we are going to bust that myth, and I have with me um, today joining us Kendrick and McDonald. Good afternoon, gentlemen, and welcome to Issues Paninyaya. A good afternoon. Mm, thanks. Good afternoon to you too. Now, like we were saying, um, sex work is uh, usually known to be a female domain. Kendrick, do you want to, to tell me what you do for a living? All right. Uh, my profession is I'm a sex worker. That is your profession. Yeah. Uh, McDonald? Okay. I'm a, an outreach for a sex work organization. Okay. Mm. So male sex workers do exist in Zimbabwe? Yeah, yeah. we do exist. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh um, at that, but generally, it's it's expected that um, women are usually the ones that um, are selling sex. Mm. So, are you saying that we have uh, people out there who buy um, sex from you? Yeah, I, a lot of them they buy sex from us. As long as you are willing to pay the the price that I charge you, it's okay. I, as long as someone is willing to to mm. to pay the price. <laughs> wow. <laughs> how how old are you, Kendrick? I'm I'm 24. Okay, 24. And McDonald? I'm 27. You're 27. Yeah. How old can how how old were you when you when you started when you got involved in in sex work? Uh, I was like I was 20. I was 20 by then. You were 20. Uh -huh. I was um, 18 when I just finished uh, my old day form. Was it was it a choice to to go into sex work? Um, had you failed your O levels, McDonald? And then wha what what prompted you to go okay, into sex uh, work? Okay, as for me, I think I I can't say it was a choice, but I think maybe uh, it was because of the situation. Um, I had passed my O levels, and I wanted to continue with uh, my education. So there was someone. There was this. Uh, uh, there was a client who was willing to help me to proceed with my education, but actually, I doubted it, say, so that we can have sex, and they offered me to go for it. So I had to agree on that, because there was no one who was there to help me to go through my studies. So you got into sex work to pay for your education? Exactly. Did that client actually pay for your education, and did you proceed? Of course, yeah. That so you went on to, what, what did you go on to do? I went to A-level, I did my A-level, then I proceed, uh, right now I'm doing my university uh, level. So you are now in university, and yeah. the same client exists? Yeah, the same client exists, but um, there was a time, you know, as kids, there are times that's number five, so I had to shift to other clients, that's, when I, that's how I started, so I was uh, used into it, so I had to look for other clients to help me here and there uh, for my, uh, my other things like my ranch house, my process, as I said, I stay alone. So there are other things that I needed to be sought out. So I had to find other clients that I uh, that were also paying me. That is a very interesting conversation. We will come back to it because uh, there's a dimension that comes to mind right there. And what, what drove you into, into sex work, Kendrick? Uh, what drove me into sex work it was a situation at home whereby my mother died and not how I mean, in situation. My nini as in your mom's baba. sister, or oh, your mm. father remarried after your yeah. mother died. Okay. And the situation by then it was tough. And we were, born, we were only two in the family. Okay. So I, ne I wanted to assist my younger brother. How old is, is your younger brother? Uh, right now he's 18. Okay. So I eventually to sex work because I was and so many things was going on. Kumba, when I got a depression, then I chose to do sex work. Rena Akuchkoro, Rena Arpa, Harare Poli, and Ruba just go visit again. So Akuchkoro somewhere in Harare, uh -huh. and you are paying the school fees from. Mm -hmm. Is your father still there? And my nini, his uh, his second wife? Yeah, they're still there. Okay, and did you manage to continue with your own education, or did you then stop? I started uh, to look after my younger brother. Wow. Right. You, you talked about starting off with one client. Mm. 
-hmm. and then moving on because you, you had other needs. Usually we, we hear of, um, what are they called? Slay queens? I don't know, the, the, the girls, the... Uh, slay queens. Sl is it slay queens or mm -hmm. is it the um, uh, blessers and what have you? Is there a female version of, of, of the male blessers who are paying one for rent, one for... Do you want to maybe just compartmentalize four things that you have different clients for? Okay, um, as, for, as I said before, the first one was for my school fees. Okay, so mm. one for school fees. Mm. And there was the other one who was paying my rentals. One for rent? Uh, a little bit of my expenses, for example, foods and my clothes. Another one stuff. for food. Mm. And also, um, the other thing uh, that I was struggling with was to get a job. Was of course, I can do sex works and other things, but I needed somebody to help me. As you see in Zimbabwe right now, for someone to get a job, it was it's very tricky. So I also find a client that helped me to get a job. So there was actually. So there's are you saying that there are carpet interviews for for boys as well? Yeah, they are there. Really? Yeah, they are there. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> so so you you actually had to sleep with somebody in order to get a exactly. to get a job. I, it's happening, and it happened to me. Are there a number? Are there a lot of um, male sex workers around? Yeah, there are a lot. A lot. Uh, not a number, but they are, they are, we are there. There are a lot of people that I know. We've got groups. We've got um, our hot spot. You know, there's uh, this one in this area, this one in this area. There are a lot of them around the country. And, and your story, Kendrick, is it just the one um, person that, that you transact with? Or do you have several, several clients? I have multiple multiple sexual partners wow <laughs> tell us about that <laughs> 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 at 20 24 24 you have multiple sex so how many how many clients do you go through on any given day or 24 hour cycle three or four per day it depends on a good day yeah i got four i only bed day maybe two on a bad day too uh -huh. And on a good day, four, four clients. Mm -hmm. Okay, and 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 for you, uh, for me, uh, it, it's not like um, it's different from his side, because my clients are sort of uh, uh, relationship clients, like something that happens over time, over time. So it, it's not like I can do it uh, like every day, but there are times that we meet and do it. So you 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 are maintaining regular relationships mm -hmm. with several it's clients with several clients uh, juggling them of course juggling them mm. so are you cheating no <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> no i'm not cheating Post, um like there's no one that i want to marry and f uh, as, w as i meet them one to sort uh this is what we are we are there for do so they know that there are other people that you sleep with um some they do but some they don't because when Pando Sangana were like, I can say to this person another a serious thing, this person are to sort of, this is just a play. So I think when show out to this another serious thing, I have to hide like it's real because I want to get what I want to get. But so we just do it, then I get paid. Wow, we are on issues. Where we are trying to bust the myth around the existence of male sex work, we're taking a break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the second segment of Issues Funding Yaya, where we are discussing the topic male sex work, a myth or a reality. We have in studio with us two gentlemen uh, who are talking us through their own experiences of sex work. Um, McDonald had told us that he has several and he classifies them depending on whether it's this one wants to be serious and he plays along. What about your clients? Do they know about each other? Ah uh, no, they don't, because actually every client plays his own uh, uh, their roles. 
kuti de kune we rent kune we guma groceries kune ma huma water bills kune ma electrical bills and there are so many of them kusa ngwa nengwa chizo ya kana didn't jida shumbi shuma extra and what 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 and our tumbos ya na kuti wariko how do you juggle them how do how what do you do do you give them appointments how do you how do you play it i give them appointments and the kind of you can to shika mpaka to your man and got to and not to the mafonia and return gay like in diego and in garipo by that time i'm trying to, i'm trying to to understand this because i know that um females for example uh, are very emotional beings and they get protective and they want a relationship from time to time do you do you get it do you experience that with your clients as uh, yeah but in your good like this is work and uh, you won't survive. Uh, how do you sustain? You were saying earlier on that you have three to four partners at any, over any 24-hour period. How, how do you sustain that? What, what do you do to, to maintain that level of uh, virility? I, I have my own way of maintaining <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to share a snippet? <laughs> Like what I've said before, I have to switch my phone off so that there's someone who can report. We are going to end up with the phone and then we will end. And 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 you, McDonald, how many how many uh, clients are you able to service over any period, say a day or night or whatever? Ah, uh, from okay, I can't really uh, say for a day or so. Was as I said, they are sort of a uh, relationship. But uh, the, the best way I can answer you is for a period, or I have my maximum number, like I can have 12 clients huh? that I can, <laughs> <laughs> I can have 12 clients. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, exactly 10, 11, 12. 12. So I will have to make my timetable. To, to make sure I meet this one at this time, this one at this time. How, so how do you keep yourself capable of satisfying so many? It's yeah, not this easy, is it's work. hard work. Yeah, it's work. <laughs> and we, we, like every work, you have to work hard to, 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 to find what, whatever that you want. So I do, uh, sometimes it's stressing like other jobs. And uh, we sometimes uh, suffer de depression. Uh, you can think, Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing, or I'm doing the right thing. What I'm doing, but at the end, you can I I I get to find it. I I start to look back and see what I was before, and if if maybe if there was somebody to help me, then I said I should have do, done this. So I I end up said ah let me just uh, do this and help myself to get a better life at the end. And this is the better life. Do you do you? Do you I see a better life ahead. Okay. Because it's like I'm planning, I'm doing it. It's a work. When we work, we expect something at the end. It's not like you're going to work for the rest of your life. Okay. So I'm expecting and I've got my plans and other things that but I But this is my, your passage to yeah, get to where? Yeah, this is my passage to get there. How, what, what are the age groups of, of, your, of your clients? Do you uh, have a minimum age? Do you have a maximum age? How, how does it work? I, I have maximum age. Which is? 50. 50. Yeah. So you are saying that they are 50 <laughs> year old and um, uh, women uh, my age who are coming to to buy to buy sex of you? Uh -huh. Do do you have a maximum age? Uh personally I don't have a maximum age. I have a minimum age. What is your minimum age? Uh, of course it's the 16 years. Uh, of course there are still kids but as for the maximum it's as long as somebody can be able to pay I can go for it. So so a, 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 an old grandmother uh, who wants yes, to have a as go lo as, as long, long as they have their money? So it's not the, about. Yeah, it's not about age. Uh, why should I worry about age? Why should you worry about mm. age? My God. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. So, so Take us t through the profiles of of the of the of these people. Um, what what sort of profiles are they? Are they Madzmaya uh, Rutengesa Pamsika? Are they uh, women who are what? What sort of uh, profiles? Ah, okay. In case of profiles, I think I think not. Uh, not from the especially for me. I look. F I I look at I look at it at, the, at a bigger picture. 
I'm not involved with VAR. Mm -hmm. or those uh, the, who have low profiles. So but there's a class issue coming yeah, there? Yeah, there's a class issue okay. coming there. So there are people, there are, most of my clients are um, people that have got their money. And the name is out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, I, can't, yeah, I, I can't say um, most, uh, most of, the, okay, uh, let me say most of them, there are people that have made it in life, to okay. be honest. Correct. And there are people that I deal with, and also most of them I not rich. They will be having issues. Some um, they are divorced, uh, and some are experiencing some um, problems in their marriages. So these are people that I met with. So they are coming to you as the uh, for relief, relief, yeah. um, from the problems that mm -hmm. that they have. Why why do you have a um, a maximum age of fifty? Uh, because. Uh, we have been one of the economies of Badar and one of the Kure one of Badar and one of the Avas in Yanu Tiram on the static like we were in a relationship. One of the Tongos that the Kungo were to touch a trick that they didn't owe and rather than selling sex to someone who is 30, 25 and below, one of the needs because I'm not talking about maybe now we are in a relationship with that person. But for me, this is work. So I rather choose. No. Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, I do have. In addition to all these mm. several women, yes. you actually have a relationship have, on uh, the go. Mm -hmm. w what are your plans with her? I'm going to marry her. Uh, does she know what you do? Yeah. Uh, there was a time she got to know and she accepted it. And like we, we started as friends. We, we, we've been friends for a long time. So it, at the end, like she used to suffer uh, relationship problems. So at the end, we end up um, like friends, best friends. At the end, then we started dating. So she accepted me as, a, as who I am, and I was accepted there. So yeah, I do have a girlfriend. So, so when you get married, let's, let's run to five years from now or whenever, mm -hmm. when you get married to her, will you stop the work that you do at the moment? Uh, I think as, as I said uh, that I'm a student and I have uh, other things that I'm planning for my future is to, to, to be somewhere. I don't think I will take it for life. There's, there, uh, there's a period that I think when things are well, I will have a family and I'll be settled. So do you, do you live with your parents? No, I don't live with my parents. You live on your own. Do mm. you live with your parents? No, I live on my own. A and relationship-wise, you've said no, you don't have... No, I don't have. You don't plan to, to settle down one day? You don't aspire, you don't desire to have a family of your own? Maybe when, I, when I'm 30 or 35, because by then I don't think the didn't chat thing going to... <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so you think you'll have reused your rich by use mm. by date? Mm -hmm. So by then, you know, like you have to, I have to plan by now because there's life after sex work. Retirement. Retirement. Because mm. retirement. By, by the time I just reached 30 years and 35 years, when I was in Bhutan, now why was I thinking about it? They won't even come because I know that Akura. But then, you know, that to set up my goals. But by this time, then that I can't. At least I won't even have stress. By then, maybe then that to funga of having a girlfriend to marry, maybe. Will, will, will you have made enough money, do you think? Yeah. D do you, what, how much do you charge? For, for what? And for what do you charge? How do you charge? How, what are the levels of different charges? Uh, for short time, it's 50 US. Ah! For night, it's 100. Eh! <laughs> 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 so what, what is short time and what is long time? What is night? I, I want to... So, taka taka to is short time. In Ngiringo, I get was short times one minute or five minutes of having sex. Then it's it, I charge fifty US. Someone will pay uh -huh. fifty dollars uh -huh. US dollars mm -hmm. to have sex for less than ten, twenty, fifteen minutes. Can I get to the ten minutes? Taka to wait zero mari. Just no get to parking. Say that again. to parking. So time make up for you have to eat some. So how do you how do you classify the times? Zero to what? The uh, parking up. Of course, uh, like for f is parking in the name hours. Man, just if if having sex, it's more than five minutes, then that's why you may charge. 
are these standard rates, you guys, or you are just uh, pulling my leg? Are these standard? No, these are standard rates. It uh, actually, let me say this. It depends with uh, the person that I'm with. There are people that tell you you can notice. Which for me to place this person, um, I have to do. Th I have to reach uh, the minimum or the maximum of this time. But there are some that you know when when it's a really short time, then we we agree on time. The time is ten minutes more than that or we are going to have sex to this level when it's over that level then we can do it's a pity that <laughs> we we are on air and mm. we can't talk about the levels because i have wanted to break it down <laughs> so that i understand I what level to what level to what level mm. at what level do we end mm. but i'm so but without being graphic you can then just cut off because it's time yeah mm -hmm. okay. really yeah and someone will pay mm -hmm. so what's the point what, what would have been the point if, if there is no maximum level that is reached? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that and then comes to the client. You are forced to, to pay. Post, uh, when the time is up and you haven't been placed, so you have to pay to get to, so to, that get to the mm. pleasure point mm. that you want to get to. Yeah. Sure. Anybody hearing would think that you guys are, are just joking <laughs> or this doesn't happen. But it's happening. It is happening yeah, it's and it's happening. real and you mm. guys are for real and mm. this is what you do. This is what we do. So, so when you have clients who are paying rent and who are paying the different bills that you talked about earlier, um, do they then pay you per session or do they then come and pay uh, at the month end? Do you log, do you keep a log book? Of how many times they've come and how much they owe you, or do you have a fixed rate for uh, the month? Ah, uh, for the month. Tisatita, Marian Garabudita. But can I deal with rent? If I, if you know, if 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 it's just for the rent, is it then not about your rent is two hundred dollars? So here's the two hundred dollars, and then for as many times as what? How does that work? So kashin jikacho. What that if it happens with us to pay my There's no guarantee. There's no guarantee. So, I'm going to say that 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 uh, for example, Mono, Toti Paninga, she badder a pipe over the, the like, as you said, Kuti is something you could turn out also badder, aga badder, and maybe you can have it as many times as Mono Shining Ashida, but we don't do that. Like, I know Kuta, you, you, you are here for my ranch house, so um, I'm, I, I please you. You, you you pay for my ranch house, then I please you. Pango Abani, Stun Jengan Jengan, she's what can I make? So I don't pay it off or just of chag. So when so I find him when food you can eat on board. If you go to the other chapter, but I think I have no in that condition or that So it depends on what is not there. So I think I I not I drift. But you are not trading fair. But it's fair. How can that be fair when when somebody pays for rent mm. and then you run away because the rent has been paid until the next time? Do you not lose clients that way? Do they I, not get fed up? I don't uh, run away in a way. You could see not I actually. Uh, or, or, or let me not say run away, but I do it in a way I find my excuses. I, I please you here and there, but I find my excuses whilst I'm getting time to please the other person. And it's not so that time. Where, where do you, how do you find these clients? Where do you find them? So we have my hotspots, uh, without, without naming places, obviously, yeah. We have my hotspots. Uh, then uh, on watch by internet, uh, WhatsApp, Facebook. So there are specific groups that exist for this um, sort mm -hmm. of thing? There are social media platforms for that. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of them. Really? Mm -hmm. and, and there are people in a group, uh, or say a, a WhatsApp group, who are all looking after the same thing. Sorry, educate me. I am <laughs> learning. I, am, I, I want to know how so it works. So there are some uh, applications and now I can develop. Can you go to? You can now go. If you want to sell sex, you can go on that application. Then you sign up. Then we wanna go to go on a purple. Do you put your faces up? Do you put profiles up? How how do they choose you from the? You said there's many of you. So how would how would they choose? 
I'm going to prefer to pick a gang with a And then, so what do these women do, McDonald or men, whatever? When, when, when you are your clients, mm. when they are reaching out, what do they do? Uh, can you explain? Uh, so there, there are these applications. Mm. So I download an app, mm -hmm. and I now have access. So if I want to reach out to you, what do I actually do? I just go to your profile. Yeah, you go to my profile, you talk to me, I answer back, we get to know each other, we, ex we exchange pictures, um, then we plan, then you can see if I'm uh, interested in you, if you're also interested in me, then we can arrange and then meet. Where, where do you meet? It depends with uh, where the person is free to meet. Like usually, I prefer where the other person is free to meet. So usually we meet uh, in the um, restaurant, food courts. We used to but because of, yeah, you know, this lockdown and other things. But those are the places that we used to meet. Do, do your families know what you do for a living, Kendrick? No, they don't. So what, do, what does your brother think? How does he think you pay for his fees? For future, I don't bring my clients home. Because I not have to I not so go go on go as is a true quitters. So to go sangana somewhere, like in a hotel or in a restaurant, can I go to my lodge? And and for you? Yeah, it's the same thing. We that's how that's how we do. We don't uh, take our clients home. They actually don't even to know where we stay. So we meet them somewhere else. We do our work somewhere else, and we uh, we pay. We are paid there. Do, do, does your family know what you do for a living? Mm, uh, my family doesn't know. They, though I sometimes I think they may they might suspect, but they I don't think they know. What would what do you think would happen if if they knew what you do for a living? Um, I think they would be angry. Of course, as like other parents, they would be angry. But I I wouldn't care because. Um, actually, there's no, there was no one to help, to help me. I'm sure if I didn't do that, maybe I should be only having my O level. Like someone I'm going to need to patch O level, but I've, I'm here because I had to find my way out. So I wouldn't care. I would just like, yeah, this is what is happening. Wow, interesting stories. Anybody would think that we were making this up, we were fabricating as we go, <laughs> and uh, we are talking to people that are not existent. We are on issues, Paninye, where we're having a conversation about male sex work in Zimbabwe. Is it a myth or a reality? And evidently, uh, it is a reality. We're taking a break, and we will be right back. Welcome back to the third and final segment of Issues Panenyaya where we are talking about male sex work. Is it a myth or is it a reality? And we've got questions that have come through um, from our different platforms. And someone is asking you, particularly McDonald, are you planning to quit once you finish your studies? Yeah, um, not studies as such, but I think I will quit when uh, my things are in order. I would finish my studies, I would get a, a proper job um, where I don't need to, to, to get help from anyone. I think by then I will quit. And, and at what point um, he, he will quit when, when the time is right, when he has acquired what he needs to acquire? When, when do you think, apart from the age of 35, 40, when you think you are too old to satisfy your clients, when, when do you intend on, on finishing this work that you do? So, you know, I think as long as there are life young children who don't eat, 
that's when pancha quitter is for now i sat in the with the asanda the chamber vision and i stand achieve my goals and my dreams so i have to do it as long the sudden that achieve what i want to achieve i'll keep on doing it another viewer is asking are you religious are you spiritual do you believe in a higher power mcdonald i am religious i do go to church i I you are a practicing Christian? Yeah, of course. Okay, I like the way you say of course. <laughs> okay, but carry on. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Christian. I do believe in God and like just like other, uh, in other Christian. And, and you, Kendrick? Yeah, I'm a Christian too. I go to church every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> do you believe that what, what you are doing is godly? Do you think, do you believe that it is acceptable in the eyes of your creator? Like, I, why, like if I go to, into the Bible, but they, this they say, you could say, I knew you before you were born. And I it's think... It's in Jeremiah. Yeah, in Jeremiah. I yeah. think God knows what I'm doing. This because he knew you before <laughs> you were formed in your mother's womb. Uh -huh. And you think that when he was planning plans for you and setting out what your life would be, do you think that he, he had this as part of the plan? Yeah. So he had sex work earmarked <laughs> as, as, as being, that's what, that's what you believe? Yeah, that's what I believe. And then and you, McDonald? Um, I can't really say I believe, uh, or I can't really say God uh, knows or whatsoever. Because right now, to be honest, I don't think about all those things. Because there, there are times when I try to think about that, I can get depressed and I start to fall back. So right now, I'm just focusing on whatever that I'm doing. And uh, when when all is over, then I will think about all those things. Maybe if I if then if I sit down and see maybe I was doing wrong, I would then repent by then. But because of the situation right now. And uh, somehow, because I'm enjoying this at the moment, I don't think, I, I, I don't take time to think about that. You're actually enjoying it? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. And it also worries me, Kuti. Maybe if I didn't have this girlfriend, I think maybe I wasn't going to quit after all. <laughs> really? So, so you will quit for, for this? Yeah, for, for this, this woman. Mm. Now, you, you talked, uh, you mentioned it earlier. Yeah, very briefly, and I want to come back to it. You said that if it went for the ongoing pandemic, if it went for the for the lockdown, mm. um, you had different ways of doing work. Mm. What are the challenges that you faced um, since the onset of the pandemic? Oh, uh, the first issue would be the venues to meet and do our things. Both like we used to meet in the hotels, and you know, but right now it's now challenging, and we we, we usually go, we used to, to go to the bars, you know. Maybe if I my client somebody that is married, could you have an excuse? If to you that? might line, he said if if you might line someone, it's called lining. I said I, was <laughs> I said if uh, my client was. Oh okay, mm. all right. So if my client would be married, would, be, would you have an excuse from the, the the husband, you know, to to come to? You've got married clients. Yeah, I okay. do have married clients. Okay. So, but with the this pandemic, uh, everyone will be at home. It will be also hard for the client to find a way out to come to me. So, so it's what also have a you challenge. been doing? Ah, uh, we have. We now have uh, mobile clients. We had to to try it mobile. You are having virtual sex. Of course. So apart from finding clients from other areas, we are now trying. But it's hard because it's somewhere that you are, that uh, somewhere that you stay. So you have to sort of be hiding and, you know, hiding and seeking. But yeah, it's working. It's actually helping us over this pandemic. Technology coming to the rescue there. <laughs> 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 what, and and what, what, what have you, what, how, how have you been coping over the lockdown? Lockdown, like, Yati uh, Sapaoma. Because uh, all our hotspots now are squished due to lockdown and COVID. And right now, Waktungwe Tayesir Kuitika Pangwa Yoyo. If you have to do it simply because you want money to survive. So you are no longer classifying, you are yeah. just taking Chamuka Inyama. And Wakada Rakusaru Zaguta and the Turiwa Nakada is Soka, Unofan in Zara, where by Mazana Zurgudura, things are Magrosas are things in US dwellers. And they got out to one and Maria Otongo Tayashi Rutapango so that you have food. You have, 
Are, are you not worried, guys, about diseases, infections, and what have you? Does it not bother you? Uh, actually, we are worried. That's, uh, I, like, as I said before, I work for a sex work, uh, eyes and outreach, you know. So we do have uh, our ways where we, uh, we, we teach each other about uh, health issues, about diseases. Uh, we do help each other to um, get access to clinics, to get uh, access to to, uh, to, med to medication and other things. So we do we, we do worry about that, and we, we have our ways that we um, and other organisms that also helps us to get over th uh, such things. And in terms of um, just keeping yourself safe, the risk you talked about, you, some of your clients being married. You, you are not putting yourselves at risks with their partners, getting caught, for example? It doesn't scare you? It does sometimes, but this is work. Have you ever been caught? Nope. Okay. <laughs> it worries me each and every time, but this work, and you have to do anything to any living. <laughs> and and, and do, you, do you have the same risks? Do you worry about being caught or getting into trouble? Um, I used to worry, but because uh, maybe I'm now sort of, I, I, I now have a higher certificate in the sex work thing. <laughs> you have a higher certificate in, in sex work. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm not worried uh, after all, I'm not worried. W what are the ages um, of, of m young men, younger men than yourselves who are selling sex in Zimbabwe? What, are, what age groups do we have out there? Um, when it comes to that, I am... Um, we do have, uh, uh, let me say from 14. 14 years old. Because I know some, some people, uh, some guys who are 14 years who are doing it. 14 mm. year old boys. Mm. And the thing is, like, um, this woman that we have sex with, that the one, usually they prefer younger, uh, younger boys. And when they see a younger boy, with, uh, with, uh, as long as the younger boy is willing, they would take it. So. It's il, those younger boys, they go to their friends, and I think it's something to catch up to those younger boys. I'm getting help from this and this. And some issues uh, uh, from their parents and start uh, living in their own it's way. It's frightening that you're talking about uh, <laughs> boys that are as young as 14. Mm -hmm. But if you, Kendrick, if you had a choice, to do things differently. If I came up today and said, you know what, I've heard your story, I, I would like to offer you a job, would you take a job or would you rather do what you do now? I would rather take a job. Okay. Then I will see this, uh, my usual job is a party time. I <laughs> <laughs> so you would still, you would take the job but still continue? Yeah, because like, I, what, what I said before, for me this is a calling. It's a calling? <laughs> yeah, this is a calling <laughs> for me. Or would you, uh, if, you know, even before everything else, if something came up now, a good opportunity for you to leave what you're doing, uh, drop everything and follow a, a different route, would you take it? Uh, I think I will take it, but I, I can't promise on, on dropping everything. <laughs> because uh, uh, right now when I look, uh, like, let, let me p if put an example, an accountant or a scientist, I don't think... Uh, they, they they are gaining that much that I can say I can get that job and life I'm going to I have to stop this. I don't know maybe three accountants salary on me maybe I would take it and leave everything. But I you believe that you are definitely making a lot more than yeah, even our camera people around and whatever of else. Course so if maybe, uh, of course, maybe of course well half of the people in this building. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So male sex work is a reality. Yeah, it's a reality. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for, for coming out and sharing your stories. Um, a lot of times people don't believe that these things do happen. So we wanted to bust that myth today. Thank you very much for coming to mm -hmm. Issues Fun and Yaya. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. There you have it. <laughs> um, male sex work is a reality as shown by Kendrick and McDonald. It is happening. It is happening in the motherland. And no, even if they got a job today, they are unlikely to leave the work that they're doing. We have young boys as young as 14 who are doing this work. 
Paninyaya Food for Thought worth considering. Thank you so much for tuning into Issues Paninyaya. We would like to make it known that the views expressed in this program are not reflective of ZTN, uh, Zim Papers Group, or the Issues Paninyaya team. We are just telling the story and telling it like it is. Thank you so much for coming on and thank you for watching Dinunzi Rejoice. Narounda Makawa, we are back next week, same time. Stay safe and goodbye.